All right. I've, un I've un unmuted myself. Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Don Pachi. I think I think it's a game that really doesn't need an introduction. No, whatever. I'm gonna just watch the Discord stream. The fucking Twitch doesn't load. Yeah, you better watch with no delay. Uh, actually, I was planning on explaining the game like right now, but I think I should better do runs. So I'm gonna leave it to you, suck. Oh. Hmm. Unfortunately, I am eating right now. Okay, Type B is uh, stands for base, the most powerful shot in the game. Really strong shot type all round. If you don't want to cheese the game with Type C, mm. chaining with Type B is also kind of an intermediate. Uh, the code I guess it's a uh, jack of all trades with its average speed and average uh, spread th class wait does he have the fucking toffer ranges enabled oh okay damn it by being over this class. Anyways. Shot type uh, B and C have, I guess, in my opinion, a bit of a tough time scoring on some sections because the speed is so like low. Maybe it's because I play type A too much, but I find myself lacking speed. Here he does like the, the early kind of big chain that gives you 200,000 score and I'm gonna have I uh, bet 10 more chances to explain it because this game is mean anyways right now he's doing the tank chain and it's the biggest stage 1 chain 62 hit is the highest they've seen but it's but it puts him on, on the pace to like 1.4 million on stage 1 very good, yeah. What? What do you say? Oh no. He missed out on the 17k chain. Disappointment. Yeah, there's like a meme with this boss where you can chain the fucking uh, towers of, at the start with uh, the B car plus the B review and the, the little tank and overall gives 17,000 score as opposed to like 3,000 score that you get from killing a single current separately and it's a big meme because it's like it's really hard and it's just 17,000 score who cares but I was well for it because it's meme By the way, B review has an insane uh, get points value. Like sometimes you, if you're chaining Zako, it's better to start with a B review uh, than enemies. Drop a really slight chain at the start here. Yeah, some of the Zako, like the flying helicopters, has 130 score. B has 200 score. Uh, like actually, fucking 70 score more. So if you route it early in the, well, it's it's really minor optimization, so you better not pay attention to it. But I was trying to review the B as late as possible. And in the end, it was a fool's uh, errand because oh, first piece of, a fool's ear around because I was losing the 74 times the counter. So. By the way, this is the most important chain of the game. If he doesn't get it, it's going to reset. He doesn't get the chain. Well, 
at the start of the game, the, the fucking chain uh, state is suspended, so you can, like, do a link between those two bees and get 200 get points from the second bee. It's so fucking small, but I love doing it. I forgot to watch this video. Uh, anyways, I was just watch watching the chat, so I didn't pay attention to the head delay. These uh, and these hangers have uh, a lot of like not a lot of health, and when he's lasering them, he's he would have killed them by now if they weren't invincible. They have this weird suspended state where they take damage but don't explode while they they're not open. So we can take them to the like to the zero HP, and then uh, explode them with one like small missile. That's the trick to that that chain, I guess. I couldn't figure it out on my own, by the way. I had to be told that by other players. The tank has like good GP, and that's basically your bread and butter of stage one. He didn't get a. 60 hit, but it's a decent pace for stage 1 anyways. 1.4 million, I think. Uh, <clears throat> let's see the 17,000 chain in action. The most important chain in the game. I should also mention other mechanics. There is not just uh, chaining, but uh, there is capacity bonus. Uh, think clear bonus plus maximum bonus uh, plus no miss bonus all in one kind of like that there is, there was no separate mechanics for those things so you just get score if you uh, don't have the maximum stock but if you have the minimum stock you get exponentially higher numbers until uh, 5 million per level on a loop to like here the capacity bonus is as you can see 100,000 and he's gonna get that at all stages if he misses once but doesn't uh, extend the stock but because he, he is going for a no miss he's going to get the higher and higher capacity bonus yeah capacity bonus requires you to not expand your stock and no miss and uh, expanding your stock is done with bombing three times uh, essentially you want to expand oh hey it got the link to the carrier i thought that was only a thing on type a though okay fine i guess i overestimate the shot of type a sometimes even though type b's shot is actually a bit more powerful jerk at it again <coughs> Stage two doesn't have doesn't have like major chains. I guess there's like two major chains, but they're like very high level. I think. Well, no, the the, the green plane chain with two of the starter ships, like these fucking three thousand ships are. These two three thousand ships are start of a very causal chain. You get a decent hit counter. You might get like four score, right? Yeah, yeah. Didn't change it. Okay. Fine. We're, we're on to three planes. These things are uh, kind of kind of a beach to chain. Uh, they recently discovered a trick. Where if you damage them, they get a little uh, flame on the left wing. That's when you know they're really get damaged. And I think he's using that or no? I guess not. No. I would probably damage them to the lowest damage sprite, but I guess uh, I guess this setup doesn't require to damage them that hard. Uh, I should also say about the power items and the bomb items. If you have the maximum power or bomb, vice versa, then 
get them cheaper items, so that's a small optimization, I guess. But you can get away with losing some of them because later on there's gonna be chains that require you to lose out on the secret bomb items. If he does the double clay chain, I guess. This is a uh, Raiden 7. The return of the D boss. <clears throat> no, no, no. Yakumov is a frequent visitor of this channel. <laughs> you shouldn't tell him. <laughs> That's awkward as fuck. Let's see what the. 200,000 per second stage. And then they're gonna go. Like, I think 400,000. Okay, big chain here at the very start, but I, I guess there is a different chain that is even bigger later. Right, he's got the, the little link here, I guess, and he's using this way shot to his advantage. Uh, very convenient for type B. Kind of jealous right now. You can also chain this ship into all these enemies, and I and I think you see how he softened everything up just to be able to kill them while full sloop in one old slot because you can't full chain and you have to pick all the uh, points where you want to chain and condense the kills in as little time as possible because sometimes the the timing is so strict. The double crane, I think you can... Oh, okay. You can... I think learn this a bit faster than Magnum, but this is one of the high-level chains that I'm unable to do. Like... Pretty, pretty high value chain. Multiple millions, I think. I don't know. Wow, Kvass is dying from from like listening to me and having a stroke. Amazing. I just sniped him. Wow, Th that's good night, bros. Okay, so as you can see, it's not resetting. The thing is with this game, it's really unpleasant to reset on stage 3, but I guess when something like that happens, you have no choice. And I find myself enjoying like taking a one miss on stage 3 into second loop, and it's like not really that bad. Like, they were saying something like, it's not a psycho tool if you don't die with 8 bombs. It kind of like that on par as well. <laughs> like, even if I die with full bombs, and <clears throat> I'm not through the section that requires me to die, that's actually fine. I mean, maybe for scoring, you're losing all, out all the. All the score from capacity bonus, but you know. Yeah, yeah, the, the capacity bonus goes one. 100,000, 200,000, and etc. until it reaches uh, 1-5 and it's 2 million instead of 100,000. 2 million, then uh, 5 million on every... Oh, no, same chain. Well, it's fine, actually. Uh, you might think that, you know, uh, tank chain, 200,000, better off resetting. No, there's a ton of really huge, huge 
<coughs> score gains on later stages and resetting out of spite because you didn't do some like small optimization isn't gonna get you anywhere to be honest even even capacity yeah you can get a fuck ton of score even without capacity bonds you just need to roll the roll the dice keep rolling that dice I guess I should mention the B item values. They are scaling from from 100 to 100,000. If you pick them all up on same stage, no miss. There is no full B bonus like in later games where you start getting higher B value. You just get the same kind of these. Uh, on every stage and that's kind of the source of score though much deprecated at least when you reach out some of the some of the more powerful chains you're kind of incentivized to drop the medals for higher score you don't have as much freedom of movement as in the long touch where you can Include all the B reveals in a smooth motion uh, in the full chain, right? So, yeah, sometimes you just ignore the B, move the fuck home. There is better sources of score out there. Oh, hey, I actually want to compare some of these enemy values. I was just wondering if you should de delay the kill of blue planes like I usually do. Okay, so there are there are blue planes and there are copters on the screen, and the copters have a way less GP value. Uh, the thing that I usually do is I stick to the left corner uh, on that chain and try and delay the the gray copter kills as much as possible since that's just minute optimization. It's not necessary but sometimes you just pay attention to the enemy order. Yeah, the enemy order I guess is the What is what the fuck is OOM? Oh, you mean to the next one? Brr. Anyway, uh, yes, here he is doing the stage two boss, which is just a essentially a blind killer. If you don't stay in laser, then these uh, these little discs can snipe you. You can get cooked pretty hard if you don't drop it properly. Also, I think he went through the wall there. Congratulations. So he's trying to point blank the door as much as possible. If you don't play the don't touch games, then that's the general strategy where the boss will die faster if you hit it with both the laser and the uh, yeah I didn't see the the score from that double plane chain because I expla was explaining the fucking the minute optimization is too hard I guess I'm going a bit autistic right now. 55 hit was normal counter for that chain, but unfortunately he got cooked. So, goodbye run.
Okay, so what should I say about stage one? All right, extremely mandatory chain of two bees. Ram is alive. <laughs> he, he got 600 bees from 600 score from a bee, bee review. That's fucking. That's only possible because of that chaining state, like getting frozen. Oh no, he just one of those. Well, whatever. A few thousand heal. Not nothing bad for some this part of the stage. What matters is if, if, if you don't make it to the later parts. I keep advertising it like it's so important later game. But honestly, this game really doesn't have much to play around on early game. There's just a huge like shortage of enemies to chain and you can't really take that 30 frame like window very far you can't really spread the enemies to feed you have you have to you have to burst chain a lot like set up for 12 seconds chain for three seconds something like that and i guess that's something that never really came back in the later the Dolphot games. But there's also games like Getsui where this strip timer is kind of similar. And I'm I'm a bit enamored with those types of scoring systems. <clears throat> Alright, seventeen thousand change here. Got all the important stuff. To see. Fucking meme. This is one of the good stage ones, I think. Yeah, not bad actually. Not the PB, but... Um... So, as I said, in this chain at the start, there is a small optimization where you uh, reveal the V, and the, the earlier you do it, the better, because the enemy's values are slightly less than the V. But at this point, we're talking about initial like hundreds of difference. Here you can you can kill the carrier as well, and it's not an easy thing to link. But it's yeah, it, it adds a few uh, you have a few tens of thousands to your to your total score. Got that. Got it two million. Yeah, yeah, two hundred esports. The important one. So I should say about these things, it's best if you kill the dirt on them because uh, you can't approach them without killing the dirt. It's really dangerous. You can uh, essentially ride and snipe, you, but if you kill them, it's kind of easy to chain them. You just need to, you know, stream. Uh, these two ships have quite an quite a bank of uh, initial get points, so you get uh, really a very advanced uh, change for the stage because, well, yeah, stage two reset isn't. I wouldn't say that's too salty. Sorry, I'm having a soda as well. <clears throat> oh. 
do you the game lasts like 25 minutes and have like an hour left have like what, 35 minutes left still a 10 minute margin i'd say but more power to you i guess the problem with this run to me is not just uh, that all the chains are a bit soul crushing with their 30 30 frame timer even though 30 frames on the on cv 68k is, is a bit less than a bit less um, i mean it's a bit more than half a second it's like 58 fps so really you should be thankful it's not just half a second but the uh the times are real strict though especially with how often you really really need that counter to go slightly higher with a very fat enemy like this guy The problem is mostly really the no miss with two bombs or one bomb. It's not trivial by any means. Okay, so he didn't uh, get team carry the tank chip into the chain, but he got a, a, a consolation prize because he kind of successfully chained all of the later parts of this chain. That's a running thing, to be honest, because, like, you have all those insane longest chains, like, theoretically possible, and you have the person actually getting down to it and doing it in the run, and what ends up happening is you will fail a link or two, but the general prize for it is you still get some score, not the absurd score that you were all prepared for but it's still uh, an expectation you should have that you can like you can only do 20% of all the chains but that 20% already yields a, a juicy amount of score and the expectations in this game are really th the most dangerous thing, even more dangerous than the bullets. Because, honestly, some of this stuff in this game is just brutal. If you're going in expecting to win, you're, you're going to burn out. <clears throat> and that's all there is to it, to be honest. Yeah, I, I thought so. I thought we'd have some more time. It's only 38 minutes from now. I mean, 30... 40... Fuck, I can't count. There's two? Yeah, I don't... Numbers. I'm good at counting... Good get points. I'm bad at counting time. Because at least get, the get points are in an actual decimal system, not some fucking hexadecimal bullshit. It, no! No! The B. No. <laughs> this is gonna hold me. I was watching that fucking thing scroll down powerless to stop it. So, there's usually some kind of a shilling going on in all of those fucking uh, slots. I, I observed, like, a lot of the games were, I mean, a lot of the gamers were like, well, if you play this game, you better. Uh, like expecting someone to get, you know, sold, expecting to sell this game to someone, and I don't really sell Bone Fight all that much, but I can say that 
it's one of a kind in terms of its scoring system and people don't really people people make different teams with like good like scoring good like chaining but not as strict as this one usually so it's very different to any cave game or or other mobs for that matter so i guess that sells it enough if there is people that actually want to see something original with more of a dad knuckle <laughs> Well, to be honest, I already t talked some psychology, so, you know, that was enough. That was my daily quote of reflection. <clears throat> yeah, so there isn't much to talk about in this, like, Stage one looking us, but trust me, when it gets to late in the game, there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be running my mods for like a fucking week when it gets to stage three or something. Oh, that's first stage. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna what do I reflect on? Do I reflect on the fact that they can't? Do some of the more basic ass chains. It took me fucking like literal hours to, to grasp the battleship bridge chain in stage five. That shit is trivial. People are like unironically saying that that's one of the easier chains. That doesn't that doesn't act, act well on my fucking. Self-esteem. <laughs> no way! One of the gun fails? Five viewers! Blessed. I wonder if I can ban myself with... Aww. Oh, right. Uh, you got another shot at this, but he doesn't do it. Uh, it's not that much score, but yeah. For a good pace, uh, some of these smaller things which do are actually not bad. They're actually... Intermediate level. Let me just look up how big the fucking average type B double crane is. Another reset. Okay, fine. Actually, okay, I'm so unprepared. I didn't even do the double crate chain as type B. I know that that's that as type A is like somewhere below one million. Oh, like six. Or seven, I don't know. Power up. 
this seems uh, like about the uh, one old time and that's assuming you don't stop the bosses too hard actually no you don't really need to stop bosses at all in one there's usually just their health bar and essentially that's it The first boss can cook you if you don't kill it fast enough, but <clears throat> all the other bosses, they don't even have a rage phase at the end. It's cooking you probably because uh, there's like bees that are pretty hard to get really fast and then kill the boss, so they had to add some some pressure for you to, you know, to perform, to be a, a video game. Okay, so the way I damage these turrets is a bit more down to the wire and they often die, but I think that kind of pays off. But alright, well, I don't know, maybe there's a difference between 5 release and 5 A. I know that for type A, for some reason, even if I damage both of them with ore at once there's a clear uh there's a clear stagger to how they die one go one dies first the other dies a bit later i don't know why that is some oh yeah but you still got it okay Except that one. Then. Yeah, I don't know small pros. There's gonna be more opportunities to to claw defeat from the from the hands of victory. There is always a way to lose a run in Bone Park, <laughs> especially with these riding at looking ass boots. Fuck no. It's not even changing this one. Okay. I mean, maybe it's just a route that I don't think. Yeah, he is changing. That's okay, fine. I was confused there for a second. No, no, you dropped that 3000 chain. Okay, yeah. Suffice to say, it's really silly to, to get, let that stuff get to you, but sometimes I really let those like unnecessary small chains get to me. That's probably one of the biggest hurdles for me. It's not hard for me to practice some of the hard ass chains. I don't really lose my mind over that, but if I do it like a two heat chain and then if I can lose the lose the GP then it can kind of get rattled as shit. Condition terrible. I can even get that trademark resort card free. Temple card. Okay, so there's often really just unnecessary comments, uh, two hit chains here and there. There's still all those principles implemented in them, but you don't really notice them as you do. It's just something that you can fill up all the all of the time downtime with. The one issue of this game is the load, loading screens between the intense chains, as opposed to like, say, the dawn patch where the entire stage is a is a full chain, and you really need to pay attention throughout. 
though it's not that true, there's still sections where there's too much sack when we don't even need to save the hit counter. I don't even need to do all the hits. <coughs> Okay, so this starts this chain from the bottom. I'm assuming that Type B doesn't really need to use direct hold towards that. I guess if I were playing that chain, I would go up a lot since, like, this direct the boots really aggressively. That's my usual technique for those. Hey, actually, not bad. Actually, good. Okay, that turret was really fucking scared. Holy crap. Okay, so... It's damaging this thing so it doesn't fire those annoying ass bullets, but... Yeah, these things can snipe me. There's... Uh, there's a slight stagger between those two cannons, but... Often due to rounding error, they're going to be aiming par in parallel, and it essentially creates a little uh, massive Yagawa bullet, like these ones. The the bullets with the double double width. So, yeah, those double cannons are often giving me a really hard time. Shooting in their in their vertical formation. One of the one of the real dangers of stage three, even though stage three isn't supposed to be that hard, no. Eh. Well, shit can get kind of unreliable under pressure, I guess, or not even just pressure. Just being a human being is also. A, Losing factor. To be honest. No, baby. Okay, fine. It doesn't go for the drop on this ship. Really not necessary, but I have to optimize for as many bombs as possible for survival since I'm a dirty top boomer that doesn't do any any of the scoring tricks. I just want to survive for for all day. Well, and that and, and keep chaining. Oh, come from here. Let me see. What does that look? Well, I don't see any double dub, uh, double dub bullets uh, shooting parallel. The player shot is a bit of a. Well, I mean, even even in dawn patch, player shot is also two lines. So, does that really say something? Probably. Yeah, but by the way, did I say that uh, Type B's uh, main shot, even discounting those uh, small flail, I mean, small sway options, it's actually really powerful and even. Let's say the most powerful in the game. There are certain points where there's just a DPS race with an opponent, and you can see how Type B the enemies shoot a very little amount of bullets. But you need to be able to exploit it since it's kind of slow in shots. Well, it shouldn't matter. 
So class losing two stars here. Absolutely uh time for ten resets. Cause how dare you but whatever. Yeah, the small stars are just a meme here. You can go for all of them, but it doesn't really matter as much as other shit. That was some bullshit setup for the for the open chain. I didn't I don't even know if it's like a death that often happens or if it's just a mistake. That was false. Falling. Yes, here you can here you can get the mid boss to spawn all the small Zacko that fires every frame. It only fires every frame on maximum rank. Technically it's not necessary to uh, time down the mid boss here, but if you do it then it's a bit of a relief. Because you don't have to dodge anything at all, you can just camp the orange flames and then then the, the bullets are gone. Where is bullet? Let's see if he just goes for the Uber Vital 2000 or something chain of. Oh. My god, he's doing it! The game in here. Yeah, you, you can see that Type B shot rips this impost to shreds really quite powerful, especially combined with the, with the bomb. Uh, a really long chain, but with a really low get points because all of these Zakos have just 70 points. Uh, like, it's a satisfying chain to pull off, but unfortunately, it doesn't really. It can't really sustain itself for all the effort you put in it. Really, more of those unnecessary tiny optimizations, I guess. Although that one is actually satisfying, so it's necessary to me. Are we get going for bees, I wonder? Well, I'll see you later. There is just a small chain here with the carrier and some of the things that usually I fail, unless I don't feel no result. You can get some big number in the section which you then kill the enemies, but you have to time to enter the kills of those uh, ground. Uh, orange planes, like well, speaking of orange planes, that's the enemy that has the DPS test, and I use that to determine which shot I've had the strongest shot. You're gonna see them late in the stage there. It's... Very necessary chain here. Where you? Oh, I think he's not there. That's fine. <coughs> it's, I mean, also like thirteen thousand difference or something. Doesn't matter actually. Yeah, here these enemies they can only shoot three uh boots when you are speed killing them because once they get to the damage state they start shooting this five way spread but due to B shots exceptional DPS it can even kill them at two points shot. Those were the green enemies that were landed on those uh, lanes left and right earlier. 
I don't know, a bit of really lovely stage continuity that I kind of uh, think is one of the lovely things about shops. They often pay attention to the environment like that in little ways. And, like, I guess that's general video game thing, but I. I think that even schmops need to pay attention to that thing. That, that's good and more than I think. The boss's shield here. The trick to it is using the safe spot, but because uh, Russ here is using type B, there is no safe spot. It kind of breaks. I guess I should explain the difference between the types here, uh, they have a slight, slightly offset hitbox, and due to type B's slightly higher hitbox, that safe spot where the, the dirt shoots around the character doesn't work because the offset compensates for the, the mistake of aiming that the boss usually does. Grass here is using up all his bombs. He's going to get four bombs back for during the fourth stage. And the score from it is going to be three to low. Like if he hadn't expanded the stock it would have been like sixty thousand not something you want, like even clearing 1-5 boss uh, gives you its score, pretty good score actually. He started the chain with three carriers, this is one of the boldier types of stage 5 opener chains, because the, the, the hit count and GP are all both very really high, so we got like 1,600,000 for it. Well worth the effort, to be honest. Oh, that's just sad. You can chain these tanks. They're pretty, they're pretty tanky in terms of their value. But unless, uh, uh, no, it's oh god, it was about to get hit. Hmm. Yeah, these enemies should be killed as fast as possible, but if you stand in front of them, then they summon their uh, V-Rider, and the fucking V-Rider increases their, their health tenfold. They start shooting this really obnoxious pattern. Uh, one of the meaner enemies, I guess, so it's not even worth it to chain them. So you probably could chain them slightly, but they're essentially like the last boss of this game, which is also like a B type of mecha or a massive robot. Right, two, two bees on the left here, he managed to get them. I often get distracted by speed killing these tanks too much and uh, forgo the bees entirely because uh, when you die the bee value drops, so if I start like scrambling for bees but then I die then it's not even worth it that much like as I said 100,000 is the is the cap for a bee but clearing the game clearing the first loop is already a, a way higher payoff like 500,000 or something from boss big chain here the the little middle turret like this one uh, has quite a, quite a GP. Okay, this is the easiest one million ch chain in the game. And saying that makes probably he failed it, but I'll, I'll go for it anyways. No, he got the million. Nice, nice. Actually, not a bad base we're witnessing here, I think. No, 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 we're well set on the time, we're well set. Fucking boss can barely take like three minutes, I don't know. 
two minutes maximum. He's going to chain the top one looking us, motherfucker. He even going for the beast. This is false shit because sometimes you don't have enough time to go for the beast and then link into this. Right. Uh, this section is famous for a really long chain, but we are probably not gonna see all that chain because well, some scary movement here. Because it's really hard. Uh, he's doing a small segment of the chain just to, I guess, recover some of that score, but we're not going to get 11.7 million here or something. He's not the armchair general by any means. <laughs> At least he's getting the bees. The Magnum route completely forgoes those bees and understandably so. You get a lot of freedom of movement for getting the bees and you get you can expand the chain to you an even higher insane value. Okay, so eight hundred thousand eighty thousand He's not getting all bees on this stage. I think there was one more but I don't really remember which one he left behind. Uh, boss here. There was no deaths, but he's doing the scrolling regardless, just to make sure. Uh, this is a safe spot, which kind of creates if you have to twitch the screen scroll from having died. And if you die, the screen doesn't reset, but your position does, which causes the safe spots to break due to screen scroll dependent like shenanigans. He's got he's got he needs to bomb more though. Yes, he's even doing the bomb wiggle. That's a very amazing trick to you. Oh what a show off he's even doing the fucking safe Yeah see if you hold left and right at the same time as type B you can get sway shot shoot leftwards without moving and he's doing this just to... Just to fucking show off. God damn it. Oh, he dies. He died. That was due to the... The tank speed. Uh, those tanks right after the 131 chain. 131 chain on the... Right. Start. I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this is this is one of the most dishonest one offs I've ever done. Just because there are so many mistakes, there are so many bombs. I'm, I'm like used to not use bombs at all. <laughs> but I did uh, reach my my score goal, and I am very happy about that. And by the way, That's loop so loop two, I'm gonna die right here. <laughs> the revenge of the easiest chain in the game. Yep. This is a fitting end. And I'm going to now uh ah. Uh. No need to rush. Thanks for in this game. Bye. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh now let me open Firefox. Gonna go crimson. Real quick, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go watch Crimson, the real star of the event, in my opinion. I think that Crimson is our savior. Yep, yep, I'm gonna rate right now. Can I do it? No, you cannot, I think. He has three underscores, right? No dark is allowed. Alright. Now on to Crimson Clover. <laughs> <laughs>